Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Cannons and the Eagles. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Digging in, Derek Jeter. Leading off for, for the Cannons. The shortstop, the shortstop. Derek, Derek Jeter. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. And we're no underway no from Wrigley Field. Strike two. Boom. No That's two cheddar, three. baby. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's going to be Christopher Morell. The right field, number five. Christopher Morell. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Cole. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Got him. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Devers now. Yeah. Check That's swing, no ball. appeal. And you won't see the skipper rush One to get somebody up. up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's ball. earned a longer leash, and because of that, yeah. confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they Good know one. he'll find his way through it. And it's even up. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Here's Alex Bregman. Leading off for the Eagles. The shortstop, Alex Bregman. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Singy, this guy was a shortstop most of his life. He's transitioned very nicely to third base. And the power has come at the major league level. The pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Yeah, and one thing, even though we don't see a whole lot of bunning these days, I've always been impressed with how he's been able to make that play up the third base line and throw firm to first to get the out. Bryce Harper to the play. Harper. In the air, out to center. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Two outs, Not base is empty. No now at the plate, Brett, Brett Phillips. Singing, you know, Zach Grinke, a guy oh that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. Ball one there. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's one and one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's ball. mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind Two balls, as strike. to the conviction in the call. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Kicks and deals. Right side. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to him. Eduardo Escobar. 
Drill to the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. Eduardo Escobar leaves the park. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Base is empty one away. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake Myers. And oh. takes low for ball one. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates when one he went one. to Houston. Everything changed. More four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Yeah, you credit the analytics and just the great system that the Astros have notoriously had in terms of helping pitchers really discover their potential. But, yeah, he's got a great fastball. He's very confident in it, but sometimes that can also hurt him, giving up a lot of home runs. Austin Nolan at the plate with two away, swings through that one. That's to third. Sends it across to first. And that is that. Here at Wrigley Field, we head to the bottom of the second, leading off Robbie Glendinning. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. That one missed. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The next pitch oh. misses, and the count's even at two. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pudge Rodriguez now at the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And a base hit up the middle. He was all over that, that one. Guy. Just a cookie down the, the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Troy Gloss now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. 0-2 now. Line drive to short and caught. Nelson Cruz will hit next. Delta. In the air, out towards right center. Myers settles under it. Squeezes it. That is the inning. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Cole, back to work. There's a strike. De La Cruz, the left fielder with good range in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Hunter Alberto up to the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and, and he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings two. through it. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still 0-2. Oh, one down, base is empty. Struck him out looking. 
Now back. And now the shortstop, Derek, Derek Jeter. Jeter. Let off the game with a strikeout. Well, singy Derek Jeter turned out to be a pretty good first round pick by the Yankees in 1992. Sixth overall member, he struggled defensively in the minors, but debuted in 1995, helped lead the Yankees to a world championship in 1996. Two down, nobody on. Yeah, and just sort of a fairy tale of a story. A kid that grew up, a Yankees fan, credits that to his grandmother and sort of grooming him to be a Yankees fan and wanted to be a Yankee. He looked up to Dave Winfield as a kid and just so much that came together for him to have this storybook career. Phillips makes the play and it's out number three. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the left fielder, Dwight Britt. And a pitch. Britton in his seventh season, 35 years old, usually in center field, but today starting in left. Popped up. Alberto moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The second baseman. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And the tying runs at second base with a double. So the batting order turns over, and now it's Alex Bregman. And a foul ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Harper. And fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of... Oh, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Runner from second crosses the play. We're tied at one. And that's a two-out double. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get... Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He leaves the yard to right, and they add a couple more. It's 3-1. Base is empty with two away. And now the first baseman, Robbie Glendinning. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now and now the catcher comes up to him. Pudge Rodriguez. One for one with a single so far. Next pitch is popped up. Escobar tracks it down for the out. Start of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. The wind and the pitch. So well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. In the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. And a quick out number one. You're best when you let the game come to you. Tried to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. Devers, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Fly ball down the line. And it drops foul into the corner. Chris, you ready for a nugget? 
Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Here's a one-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch oh. misses, and it's two and two. Rodriguez oh. throws to first, and Devers is set the down. The Carlos, Santana Carlos Santana getting ready to hit. Santana. And he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering. There's a strike. And that one almost got him. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back here at Wrigley Field. Here's the third baseman, Troy Gloss. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. So Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Foul ball. And the right hander deals. Out to short. Into Escobar's glove. One up, one down. Good late down, bite down. on that slider. Sure, got the hitter out in front, rolled over yeah, on yeah. it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Ooh. Cruz at the plate now as he chases after that one. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. The pitch. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. And the pitch. In the air, left field down the line. De La Cruz makes the grab on the run. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Britton now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And that one is lifted in the air. Morrell on the move. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the first baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these guys, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Got him swinging. So up next, Jake Myers. He's 0 for 1. Ball, Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. He was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. And it's fouled away. Rodriguez makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now it's now Austin that, Nola. That, 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 Grounded out Austin his first Nola. time up. Nola. There's a strike. Well, he threw oh, that more. fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? And he deals. And now one oh. and two. Back up the middle in a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. De La Cruz in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. 0-2. Oh 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. And that's, that's down and away. It's a good take. The 1-2. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Lourdes Goriel. The pitch. That one drifts no, inside. Oh. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Next pitch has popped up. Granke calls it in, and there's one away. So the lineup flips now, over. Right. Now it's Alex Bregman. Alex. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015 he wears that number on his back number two and singy he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up the pitch and there's a foul ball a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years not being the number one pick overall and he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best and it's Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Swung on, belted. That one back. And it's off the wall. Bregman into second, and he's got a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Swing and a foul straight back. In for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. So two down now, and here is Brett Phillips. He's already homered here in this one. Now fly ball to right center. Morrell moving under it. And that's the third out. Back here at the friendly confines. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the second baseman, Hunter Alberto. Cole back to work. And a strike in there. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. In the air, right field. Hauls it in for the out. I just remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Wastes no time there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. The next offering no, that's misses, that's and the count is one and one. Just could not get in sync, and even guess. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone. He powers that one out to left, and this game is tied. It's 3-3. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Now it's Devers at the plate. Oh and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Strike two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Kicks and fires. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So now the DH spot, Carlos Santana. Santana in his 13th season, 36 years old, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Robbie Glendinning. Robbie. The right-hander back to work. Okay, swing now. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. In the air, right field. He makes the grab, one down. Here's some real power at the plate, Pudge Rodriguez. One for two. Pudge goes five feet, nine inches, 205 pounds, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now, Troy Gloss. And that one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Laser! Base hit! They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now the One down. And now the DH, Nelson Cruz. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect no many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Got him. And now two gone. So first and second with two outs. Now the left fielder, Dwight Britton. Lined, and that's a base hit. The throw in. Run comes in from second. It's 4-3. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That ball was dry. Here's Guriel. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Out to short. Jeter on the run. Throw to first. That ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Eduardo Escobar. A line to kick the pitch. And a big swing and a miss. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. The tying run at the plate. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. In the dirt. That's the first out the top of the seventh. Or maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. 
Myers at the plate and takes high there. And a swing and a miss there. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Next pitch is outside. This one high in the air to left center. Phillips makes his way towards it. And there's two away. Here's the catcher, Austin Nola. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. First offering misses badly for ball one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Natalie turns and heads for second. Seeing some good now swings from him right now with consecutive extra Ryan. base hits. Put a pretty they good like swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Now here is Brian De La Cruz. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Pitch misses, and it's one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. So that's two straight, two out hits. The run scores from second tie ball game, 4-4. Four, four. Save! Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's exactly what you're taught to do with that pitch, but it's not that easy to execute and alive at bat. Great job of staying on that breaking ball down and away and shooting it to the opposite field. Check swing. Went around. That is strike two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here at Wrigley Field, and here is Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jacob Lemoyne. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Here comes a pitch. And he dodges that fastball. Oh, the adrenaline's pumping right there. Pretty good fastball. Unfortunately, he got away from him. He's going to have to corral things a little bit. Next offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Out to short, Jeter. To first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Line drive, caught! Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's the center fielder, Brett Phillips. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Tied to four. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Here at Wrigley Field, we go to the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play, Derek Jeter. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Way high. Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Christopher Morell, the next to hit, one for three. First offering, misses the mark. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. And a ball evens the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty delivers. And that's a little bit high. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Rafael Devers. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Left-hand batter waits. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Santana, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hard on the ground to first. Puts the tag on him, leaving the box. And that's the third out. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Robbie Glendinning. And a pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So great job there stepping up to the challenge. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it. But still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Line drive, base hit. Bro holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Oh, and two as he waves at that okay. one. Swing and a miss struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now it's the DH, Nelson Cruz. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. There's the strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Tied at four. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. One at second. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. Back here at the friendly confines. And now the first baseman, Eduardo Escobar. right there and there's a the ball there's a strike definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball if you can get in that location boy you've got to look top to bottom and that's going to make it very difficult to hit On the ground to third. 
Now one gone in the ninth. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. Base hit into the outfield. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Nola can't hold up, and that's a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now, Brian De La Cruz. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. They say it went. You're about what Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bottom of the ninth, and the batter now, White Britain. And the pitch. Hammered down the line, base hit. It's a leadoff double, and the winning run is at second base. Well, that may end up being an... So they turn to their closer, Jalen Beeks. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Swing and a ball popped up. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Bregman swings through it for strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Only two now. Stays alive. Runner leads away at second. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Out there to center. That one's back there. Wow! Ball game! Alex Bregman sends it out, and they walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing in the back, nice win for the team. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.
is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Six runs on 13.